So in problem number two, we have the integral from negative 4 to 5 of the absolute value of x. Now, we could solve this in two parts, in two integrals. Remember, absolute value of x, by definition, is negative x when x is less than or equal to 0 and x when x is greater than 0. So we could break this up into two integrals from negative 4 to 0 of negative x dx plus from 0 to 5 of x dx. But it might be easier to view this as an absolute value function, which we know looks sort of like a v. It does look like a v. And we have negative 4, 2, 3, 4. And we have 5 on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And remember, this is just y equals negative x y equals x, and so this point here would be negative 4 comma 4. So the area of that triangle would be 4 times 4 divided by 2, or the area here is 8. On the other side, we have a base of 5, height of 5, and so this would be 5 times 5. Let's put this up here. This would be 5 comma 5. So we have 25 over 2 here. So all we really need to do is add together 25 over 2 plus 8, which is 25 over 2 plus 16 over 2. And that turns out to be 41 over 2 and the answer is A there. So another classic example of how we could use geometry uh, to visualize the integral there and to calculate the area under the curve using triangles in this case. And we'll go on to the next example.